I'm going to do a review of these noodles. They're called rum pum noodles. Although you can't, there's nothing, there's no English word on here, but they're from Nepal. And I just got some at a place in Erie. And here they are. Here's the ingredients. I think you can read this. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. There they go. There they are ingredients in English garlic powder coriander cumin black pepper cardamom aminum nutmeg turmeric onion powder ginger clove bay leaf cinnamon salt sugar flavor enhancer monosodium glutamate and some other chemically sounding things black salt red chili pepper Wow but anyway Onion flavored vegetable oil and chili. So I don't know how hot these are, but I have a feeling they might be pretty hot. These are this, they make chicken ones and vegetable ones. I found out that they're called rum pums because I looked them up on uh, online. So we'll just see what's in here. Okay. I also saw a thing that some people eat these dry. They like put some stuff on them and eat them dry like with a salad. So let's just see what's in this container. So this the noodles themselves. Which I, might, oops, <laughs> which I might just have to have a little taste of. They actually you can smell the spices on them and stuff. They smell good. A couple of packages in here. I think I will taste these just the way they are, just for fun. Oh, it tastes pretty good. And then there's this. This is the seasoning powder and the onion flavored oil. Wow, looks good. Oh, this one does say rum pum. Rum pum, ready to eat noodles. And this, how much of this do we want to try? It's a little tiny chili powder pack. Probably want to go easy on that. I like hot stuff, but I have my limits. So anyway, that's what's in the rum pum noodle package. Now I'm just going to study the directions here and go make them. And then when I'm done, oh look, they even say on the back. You can make it into soup, you can fry it, or you can just munch it. Crushed noodle within packet, add seasoning and oil in the pack, enjoy. Fry your desired garnishing in hot oil, later stir noodles and seasoning for minutes, pour in, blah, blah, blah. And this one is just, I think I'm going to do the soup version. I just have to figure out what 240 milliliters of water is. Okay, I'm going to go make them, then I'm coming back. I'm back. I cooked the noodles for three minutes in 240 milliliters of water, which is pretty close to a cup. And now I'm going to put in the uh, seasoning and the onion flavored oil. I wonder if this is easy to get into. Pretty easy. This looks a lot like curry with all the different spices in it. It smells like curry. It actually smells really, really good. And let me see, rum pum onion flavored oil. Let's try that too. It's just a little tiny bit of that, but I'm sure it's good. And I'm a little scared about the this thing, but I think just to Give a good review, I'll put a little bit in. I mean a little tiny bit. Because I don't know if it's going to be hot or not. So I'll put a little of the chili in. 
Now these are actually, to call this soup is kind of a stretch. It's actually, I mean, they're wet, but there's really nothing liquidy in here. I mean, maybe at the bottom a little bit. But. And then I didn't know if I'd need um, a fork or a spoon or chopsticks, so I brought all of them. And here they are, mixed up. Rum Pum Vegetarian, I'll just show you again, these ones, Vegetarian Noodles from Nepal. So here we go, I'm going to have a taste. Let's hope it's not too hot for me. Oh, they're good. They're not too hot. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit more of this in. Because I'm brave, trying some hot chili powder. This could be some special Nepalese chili powder that's much hotter than any other chili powder, but... Okay. Trying them again. Well, they taste good. They do taste very spicy, but not necessarily hot. Just a lot of all those many spices I read on the on the package. They're good. I actually think I could put the rest of this in, maybe. There. Tell your friends and neighbors. Yep, these are good. I bet you they would be good the other ways too. Like fried with vegetables or dry. Anyway. Getting them all stirred up. Well, I'm going to say they're pretty good. I don't know what I was expecting, but they're good. So I'm going to give them a rating and say that I give them like three and a half out of five stars. So there you have it. Rum Pum, veg Rum Pum veg Vegetable Vegetarian Noodles Reviewed. They're good if you want to give them a try.